Next up in the video series, we will take a look at menu settings. To build and edit your app's menu, click on the menu option from the toolbar on the right. You will have the option to select one of the following menu styles – bottom icon bar, circle, overlay, push in, slide in and swipe. You can click to apply them to your app and switch to preview mode to see how they look and function. Once you have chosen your menu style, click on the Menu Links tab to configure it. Under Select Menu, you can choose to either hide the menu if you don't want it to appear, set a custom menu where you select which screens you wish to display in the menu, or show all screens that are part of your app in the menu. The recommended option is the Custom Menu, to allow you to choose exactly what screens can be accessed from here. Click on a screen here to configure the settings. Link Label allows you to name the menu. If you wish to include an icon or change it, click on Replace Icon or Remove Icon to remove it. Under Link Action, click on the drop-down and select one of the Link Action options to determine where the menu will lead the user to. If you select a Link Action that leads to another screen or action, make sure to include the required information, such as the screen or the URL. If you wish to delete a menu item, click on the red trash can. Choose which order your menu items appear by using drag and drop to reorder. When you are finished, remember to save your changes by clicking on the blue Save button. You can test your menu in preview mode.